want to give you a brief hot tip this morning. Um, so, in all the hubbub about minimalist websites and stuff like that, people are like, hey Luke, isn't there like, oh, I wish there was some way for me to get minimalist websites and browse and use those because they're very nice. I miss the old internet. I, I don't want things to be too, too complicated or anything like that. Well, very luckily, there actually is a site for that. Um, I've known about this for a couple years and I use it every once in a while. There is a, well, just go to wibymwibby.me, wibby okay? That is a website. In fact, it's a search engine. And the special thing about the search engine is that it only indexes minimalist websites. That is, only if it doesn't have soy devery and stuff like that. If it's just a classic website, this is what it, this is the only thing it indexes. Um, uh, and I'll also say it actually has, this is a nice way of finding like just random people's websites, websites that will not show up on search engines nowadays. Will you get like the best results from the site? No, but you'll find just new things and it's nice to, to play around with. So let's say, I'm just going to type in Linux just as an example, a uh, very simple site and it brings up, uh, you know, let's see what the first page is. All right. This looks like, um. Just looks like a classical, like, just the joke web page. You got the uh, interjection copy pasta, stuff like this. So, uh, we have the Arch Linux website. We have this thing. I don't even know what this is. Uh, oh, man. This, th now, this, back when websites all used to look like this, that's when it was good. Oh, man. Look at that that background, uh, taking up the whole page. This is this is great. Okay. Um, you got DistroWatch. I mean, I guess you guys are mostly familiar with, you know, those kind of uh, sites. Let's see if there's anything else. You got the got GNU.org, stuff like that. Um, so these results are not necessarily what you might always expect from a search engine because it, it's only indexing a small number of sites. But again, you're going to find random people's just sort of, uh, I, don't, I don't know, off the wall, uh, hacking Linux exposed, stuff like that. Uh, just random sites, all right? It's just, just a nice thing to do. Or let's say, I don't know, let's say um, Artix Linux. Okay, let's see the distribu the distribution of uh, Linux I use. Well, yeah, actually one of my websites comes up, uh, Larbs, which I guess I mention Artix in. Uh, if you want to install my dot .files, you can just go to larbs.xyz. Um, but it looks like they're just some random people's websites, Unix Chic. Uh, stuff like that, I guess, just talking, probably mentioned Artix or something like that. So this is just a really great way. I, I don't know how many sites it indexes. Probably not actually that many. Um, but if you see, if you actually know, let me, uh, let me go back to the main page. If you know of a minimalist web page out there, um, you can actually submit it to the search engine. It doesn't just like troll random, like it doesn't like crawl the web in general. Um, people submit URLs and then they're indexed by this. Uh, some Someone a long time ago submitted my websites and stuff. Um, I've actually submitted some different websites about different things that I, I just like. Um, but you can submit one as well. Or let's look up, well, let's look up me, because why not? Luke Smith, okay. Let's see what they have of mine. They got my website, they got my podcast website, got me being mentioned on some random sites. And it looks like you also have just random, you know, people's web pages uh, or stuff like that. Um, so if you want to, um, uh, it's, it's just, it's just nice. It's nice because like back in the day, you Zoomers don't remember this, but it, it was very easy. Like the default, um, use of the internet was finding people's web pages and finding, you know, their personal stuff and just seeing whatever cool links that they had. Um, and there you Joseph Smith Memorial page. That's interesting. Um, so it, this is just sort of a way, just gives you a look at like how the internet used to be. You used to find stuff like this all the time. Um, now is it going to be best for finding, you know, whatever, troubleshooting whatever problem you're having? I don't know. Uh, but hey, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. Now additionally, um, now you guys know that I use the search engine Circs usually, uh, which you can host on your own server. And I actually have an instance running on circs.luksmith.xyz. If you uh, look up Circ, that's S-E-A-R x look it up on whatever video site i've done tutorials on it it's actually been updated since i did tutorials on it i might have to do a new one um but what circs is what circs does is it actually um you can you give it a keyword and it searches a bunch of different engines for um you know that keyword and gives you the results uh, so here for example are the in, the engines running on my uh instance and you'll see at the very bottom there's actually a wibby uh, option. So I can turn on Wibby and I can look 
uh, for, I don't know, like GNU Linux, okay? Uh, again, because this is my default search engine, and it's gonna bring that up. So you'll see on this side, you have Wikibooks, DuckDuckGo. This is where all they're getting their sources from. Actually, not many from, Wi oh, I gotta save it. I'm stupid. Let's try that again. So I save the changes. Now, we'll rerun that search. Uh, so yeah, so you have a couple, um, you know, Wibby pages here that, you know, are brought up here. Uh, so yeah, it's just a, a nice, a nice little thing. Look, look, this is a, what a nice website. This is how websites are supposed to look. I'm sorry, soy devs. This is how it's supposed to be. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is just a, a little hint. Check out Wibby.me. Um, you can submit pages. You can donate to it. I think it's just run by one guy. So I don't know. Um, uh, that might be a nice thing to donate to if you want. So that's about it. I just feel like people need to know that.